What is a book review? A book review is an in-depth critical evaluation and analysis of a book's quality, meaning, and significance, mostly concerning a previous research topic. The review explores the content, strengths, and limitations of the author. You should read the book critically and examine the author's argument and evidence. After reading, you should write a review in the form of an essay with supporting evidence clear and logical structure, just like in an article review. What is the purpose of a book review? A book review provides sufficient information to the readers and helps them decide whether they need to read it. Therefore, as the writer, provide an accurate and clear message that will guide and not mislead your reader. Remember to touch on both the positive and negative elements of the book, don't be biased. What should you consider before reading the book? Before you even start reading the book, check on the following elements, author, check the author's name, the number of words, the type of content, and the typical style used, genre, what is the type of book genre, is it fiction or non-fiction, romance, poetic, etc. Who is the audience of the content? And what's the book's purpose, title, how do you view the title? Is it interesting or uninteresting? Does the title relate to the message in the book? How has the author applied the title, and where, preface slash introduction slash table of contents, is there an introduction in the book? Does the author give a preview of the book in the introduction? What are the author's thoughts about the work? How is the book structured, cover slash printing, does the book jacket offer deeper meaning to the book's content in terms of pictures, graphs, or maps, elements to consider when reading the book, when reading the book, you should have the book review format of your summary in mind. So read and take notes on the following elements. Characters, who are the characters in the story? Name the main characters, their impact on the story, and how you feel about them, theme slash style, what is the story's main themes? What's the author's style, and is it accessible to every reader, argument, how does the writer present arguments? What is the supporting evidence of the argument, and does the story support this, key ideas, what's the key message in the story? How is it unique, quotes, can you sport any quotes in the story, which are the most appealing, and how do they narrate the story? What is the standard book review format, a book review outline that you should consider for your work, introduction, one-two paragraph, bibliographic information, author, title, publication date, publisher, length, and book genre, overview of the theme, purpose, and your evaluation, body or summary, around two pages, Key concepts of each chapter or group of chapters. Include all the elements discussed above when reading, paraphrase the information or use short quotes, evaluation and conclusion, around one page, opinion about the story, easy to read, interesting, entertaining, and informative. Are the arguments well supported? What are the strengths and weaknesses of the book? Would you recommend it to the readers? What should you do when writing a book review? when writing, summarize the content but don't give too much. Most reviews give a brief view of the few chapters or up to the rising action we defined in our article, Narrative Essay Writing Help. For non-fiction books, you should give the main idea of the author's argument. The other part of the review should include the opinion on the author's work. So, always observe the following when writing your opinion. 1. Establish background information for your audience. Remember that your audience hasn't read the text, so you should highlight the characters and themes in the story keenly and clearly. Always answer the questions under the key ideas and theme sections above. 2. Describe main characters, you can't describe every character in the story. So, consider only the main or the most outstanding characters. Do you think the author is missing out on some information? 3. Organize your review. The purpose of a review is to analyze a text and inform the reader. The review should be brief and clear. The purpose is to strike a balance between your summary information and the review. 4. Evaluation of the story. Choose what to comment on about the story. You can focus on your main interest. You can compare the author's work with other content or writers. You can also comment on the book's theme, terms used, and their effectiveness. 5. Cross-check your work. After drafting your book review, check if you have all the review details. From the list above, touch on the major elements like the book preview, characters, theme, and main points. Put yourself in the reader's shoes. Will they understand your content, 
6. Revise your book review, make final touches to your review by rereading it several times. Double check the flow, structure, grammar, and spelling of the characters, publisher, and special terms. Check if your content is informative. Have you used direct quotes appropriately to support your arguments? Common mistakes you should avoid for an effective book review. When writing your book review, you should be aware of the following common mistakes and avoid them. From our research, we find most students struggle with several issues. Check them out and hire our book review writing service if you feel lost. Much focus on the plot. The review should include other elements, not just the plot description. Giving just the plot review won't be a review but narrating the story, mixing of pronouns, avoid mixing pronouns, so your content doesn't get sloppy. Be consistent with the kind of pronoun you decide to use, lack of clarity, making meaningless arguments won't look good on your review. So, to avoid this, ensure you proofread your work, and you can even ask for help from our book review writers, repetitiveness, avoid repeating yourself in the review, or you will appear like someone confused. Tips to apply in book review writing As you write your book review, it's best to consider the following tips that help us deliver credible content. Use annotations. Adding notes to your book as you read may sound so basic, but it's very helpful. Adding notes to your book triggers creativity in your mind and helps you write. Be honest about flaws and unbiased. Don't just focus on the good side of the story but also the flaws to help your audience. Don't hesitate to express your thoughts about the book, especially criticism but it should be constructive. However, don't be nasty in your opinions. Remember the author's writing style. Don't forget to comment on the writer's style of narrating the story. So, as you read, make annotations on the writing style, add some photographs. Visuals are a great way of communicating with your audience. Add pictures of the book for the readers to relate to its size and look. Keep the review streamlined. Pay attention to the length of the paper. Some lengthy reviews are confusing and time-consuming to read.